zesde electricity, my dad's had an electrician, and my grandfather too. And I've been obsessed since I was a kid with people like Stockhausen, uh, Kraftwerk, Brian Eno. Electricity has always existed, and it's not just a phenomenon of this century. And, and it's always been in thunder and lightnings, and, and, and in Iceland, the Thor's hammer, you know. And in acupuncture, it's been around for one or two thousand years. Electricity and equipment are just tools. Instead of wood or, or, or leather or metal and all these things that we so far have made music out of, stroking a, a string, we're using electricity and, and to, to make for the air. For me, that is probably what I would call techno. You deny me of something Well, I've got plenty You are the one who's missing out But you won't notice Until after five years If you live that long You'll wake up All loveless I dare you to take me on I dare you to show me your pals I'm so bored of cowards That say they want, then they can't handle There is like a purpose behind it where the drums are really hard and then the voice is beautiful. It's just like the contrast. For something to be beautiful, it's something's got to be, you know, ugly. If everything's beautiful and, you know, nothing's beautiful. You can't handle love, baby. You can't handle love. Oh, it's obvious you can't handle When you first meet an Icelander, sometimes they are cold. But then, when they warm up to you, they are, they are very fiery. We are very fiery people. Most of my work, I do in my head, just when I'm doing other things. And, and, and um, I don't know if it's because I've been doing it for long or, or because 
I, I spent so many years without recording my songs. I wasn't until 27 I started recording them. It had naturally become quite organized in my head and I got all these different sections and little cupboards and drawers. And I started that idea and I put it in a drawer and I can come back to it a year later and it will still be there. So I walk in a room and, and it looks like I'm starting a song, but it's actually, in a way, I've maybe been working on it for a year. Are they getting better? I write about one song a month, no. and it's usually just the theme of that month, like the soundtrack to that month in my life. This is the lyric to a song about my best uh, mate, Yoga. But all the other pages, there's absolutely no way I'll open for you, whatever you offer me, because that's so private, it's scary. And I've got a beautiful a secret code, which is called Icelandic. So you guys will never find out what says in this. All that no one sees, you see what's inside of me. Every nerve that hurts, you heal deep inside of me. Number one, two, three, four, and five, and all the way up to 73, I'm a pop musician. And I'm, I, I'm making music for everyone, not for, for uh, VIP or, or educated people or, or something like that. So I want to make that, um, it has to be pop music, you know, that everybody can relate to. And, and, and so, so it's, it's a challenge. It's an experiment, and I've got a clue we'll work on it, but you have to try.